you guys knew by now that I was in Quebec. I already know that you guys like my vlog and I decided to pack all of my trip inside one video. <laughs> I love my trip. You haul we landed in Montreal and that's because my husband has always wanted to take me to Montreal. I mentioned this in my very first video that I uploaded about um, where I announced that I was going to Quebec and then we'll be visiting Montreal. I mentioned this and I had said that my husband schooled in Montreal. He spent a few years in Montreal and he wanted to show me around Montreal. He wanted to take me to his church in Montreal. <laughs> Impression Montreal was giving me. I really don't know the best way to put it, but I immediately felt at home. Montreal is totally different from where I was coming from, which was Toronto. <laughs> okay, Montreal is a vibe. It's really a vibe. We eventually made it to our hotel. What is it with hotels here where they don't give water? No water, no food, not nothing. I understand now, no food, yeah, fine, but not even a bottle of water. Oh, my They made available coffee and tea. What are we supposed to make with it without water? I know I will never be impressed with, with some of your hotels in your life. And first and first, we went to Maxi to get fruit and most importantly, water because they didn't give us water. What kind of hotel is that? I'm still pissed. <laughs> then we went to grab dinner at this gallery de Danjou. Ah, uh, she's not good on yet. I just said nonsense. <laughs> Well, let me do panasens, you are not right. Uno chow, there's duo chow and then chow chow. It's the middle one. Do, do is two. Come on, go translate. Oh, you don't, you don't speak French. I don't speak French. Funniest thing, the lady was actually speaking English. Go to go to go to. No, no, don't have that one. Sorry, sorry. I prefer this one. This one, yeah. Yes, hard days. Hey, you, Mademoiselle Dupe here. <laughs> it's a wonderful morning. This Montreal, the drivers here, they are crazy. Think of them as Niger bus drivers, and may even be worse than Niger bus drivers. It's it's crazy here. It's mad. I don't know how I can say it that you will understand. Maybe I will just you guys later, but let's go out. So we are ready to take on Montreal. Um Are non here. It has it has already happened. I wish I showed you. <laughs> they are both <moving> mad here. <laughs> we are going out, we are going to two places today. One in Montreal and the other one in Laval. Um Laval is also in Quebec. But Laval is not in Montreal. Uh, we are going to St. Joseph's Oratory. Um, St. Joseph was a church baby used to attend when he was here. He really liked the church and he was like, he would bring me to that church. And we are going there now. I'm excited about that. Uh, the second place we are going to is called Cosmo, Cosmo Doll. I can't remember. I think I've just put the name on the screen. Cosmo Doll. Or something, something like that. It's like a planet kind of a thing, like the NASA kind of a thing, uh, little lava. And we'll be spending about one or two hours there today just to our experience space, virtual space. All right, guys, so let's go. In the midst of all the chaos, the drivers and pistols died. It was a time attack. It's like, guys, 
chill. You want us to fly? What's happening here? On our way to St. Joseph's Basilica or the Holy Tree, we passed through Rustling Avenue, which was the area my husband lived at when he was in Montreal. Guys, he was showing me this bus stop, <laughs> the drug marts he used to visit, his streets, and also the apartments that he lived in. I mean, the apartment that I thought I was going to join him at. <laughs> After this, the next one is Rosalyn. You, you are the book. If I'm going to go back, I'm going to go back. That's why I like it. glasses on my face. I'm going to see your old apartment. Straight in the middle of the hotel. Okay. At my restaurant. So this is your bus stop. Hey, that's the restaurant. Please. Hands out. That was my father. Okay, man. Ah, I tried to no, get it. Like, like what I look like. Okay, I can see. It's under the side. Level one. You put your coat on. You put your coat on. See me. Turn it on here. 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 Look at that design. Doesn't make it. Change. Everything has changed. Everything has changed. That looks different. We finally made it to Saint Joseph's Horror Tree. If you have him on trial and you do not know where to visit, definitely visit this St. Joseph's Oratory. There is a chapel that has about 10,000 candles inside this building. This building is on a mountain called the Mount Royal. Inside this building, there is actually a rock in it. And you know water comes out from rock here. Yeah? There is water coming out from that rock. You know it's summer, it wasn't really visible. So, but I could actually see water coming from the top of that rock. There is also a story of someone that was told in a very interesting way, which is Brother Henry. At the feet of this uh, statue that you are seeing, the last words of Brother Henry was written there. This is just interesting. Architecture of this building, God, I haven't seen anything like this before. <laughs> it just blew me away. If you want to see the video of that church, is the St. Joseph's Oratory. Guys, I have a whole video dedicated for that alone, and it's really a one day trip. Visiting St. Joseph's Oratory and doing the entire tour and thinking that we would be able to go to Cosmodrome at Laval was a bad idea, so we decided to take a train and go to Hood Montreal instead. I was told if you are looking for an European vibe, Old Montreal is a place to go. You heard, this place is beautiful, this just, <laughs> this is just totally different. <laughs> this place looks so unique on its own. We took a walk around Old Montreal, we went to the old port of Montreal. We saw an activity there, we also decided to stay and just watch. Guys, I have a whole video for my Old Montreal walk already on this channel so just go check it out we cannot talk too much just go check it out back at the danjo galleria again and we we're trying out another venue <laughs> Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour to everybody. Guys, oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> I love Montreal. I feel at home here. In fact, I even asked Babe yesterday that, um, I, what does he think? Because 
I don't mind <laughs> living in Montreal except for the fact that this is a French speaking province and I think that is the holy problem and right now they are trying to make every single text that you see outside inside everywhere to be French not even English they don't want to see a part of English anywhere <laughs> anymore they just want everywhere to be strictly French Apart from that, guys, this is the closest I have ever felt being at home since I got to this country. This is beautiful. Montreal is beautiful. It's really beautiful. Think of Lagos Island. Think of Lekki. Think of Aja. Think of Koyi. Think of beautiful graphics. Think of beautiful banners. Think of intentional artworks. And then the people <laughs> are beautiful. And the drivers are crazy. Like I said yesterday, they are crazy. They are like Lagos drivers. I, I can't remember the last time I saw a broken side mirror. In this Montreal, I've seen it. The roads, quite interesting. If you're not driving in Montreal, you might not really understand what I'm trying to say. But guys, this place is the closest I refer to home and i really love it here and i am encouraging you if you're watching this video and you want to visit canada or you're in canada you're looking for where to go go to montreal you're going to love it and there are a lot of places to visit the place is really beautiful i i i love it here i honestly love, <laughs> i can't say this enough i honestly love it here so we have still home um they went to see one of his friends and when we we're going to send yourself um we passed through this old house his old street rosalie no <laughs> it took me around the place they even put out houses apartment i remember the apartment he used to show me and then he showed me the outside like okay this is our outside this is where i am right now this is where i'm sitting this is the veranda and hall and now i could see his with my koro koro eyes and i was like oh, this is a place i was supposed to join your heart if immigration had answered me in 2019 2020 you know i would have lived here too you know i was asking him how was the feeling looking at all of this more like his uncle beginning hera what a memory <laughs> everything is just so cool just feels like home i really love it here everywhere i turn to i just see black all around not that they are planting a mass but you can easily tell that there are blacks around and you know those black people from francophone countries they are here this is their home everywhere is just beautiful i really love it even the metro beautiful absolutely beautiful oh um, montreal is beautiful i can't see And we are finally at the Cosmodome. <laughs> Guys, we enjoyed our time here, but this is not the best place for one person to visit. So if you are going to be visiting this place, go into, and it's also a best place to bring children. So definitely go as a family. If you have kids, just plan this place for them to learn about space science. There are games to play there too. It's just interesting for family and even more interesting for children with curious mind. Yesterday when we came here again and decided to try this Thai Express restaurant and then we like their food and we're like we're just going to stick to this one. <laughs> so we don't just go experimenting and keep eating food. This tasted better and looked good. These people and they dress. Ah ah. Olepu. Don't tell me. Don't tell me, man. This is useless. 
Ontario will just make you feel like there are no fashion sense here in Canada at all. But you see these people in Montreal. Actually guys, we are on our way back to Toronto. <laughs> I thought we could visit more places but um, <laughs> Bros body was reacting already. So it, it was beginning to get so chaotic for him and also the food was affecting his system and because of that he was tired we could only visit the cosmodome um, yesterday and now we are on our way back to Toronto but before we get to Toronto we have to make a stop at Gatineau guys Gatineau is in Quebec it's also a French speaking area but Gatineau is so close to Ottawa. Ottawa is in Ontario, guys. It's just a bridge that links both Gatineau and Ottawa. Now we just left Ottawa and we are heading to Gatineau. This is the bridge that connects both together. And you know what, guys? People can actually be working in Gatineau and live in Ottawa and vice versa. It's so interesting. But then Ottawa is English speaking area. Got to know it's French speaking area, but people are actually doing it. One of best friends lives in Gatineau and we decided to say hi to him before we head back to Toronto. So is this um cow feet or head? Uh, no, half feet. Okay, Isio is head. Okay, man. Okay, man. Okay, man. Okay, man. Okay, man. Okay, man. So, I'm really by saying, I'm a date. 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 I'm Okay, Head southeast on Island Park Drive. I'm very good. Hello, Shia. Complimentary, would you like to have your windows clean? Okay. So, this guy is going to clean our windshield for us as a complimentary. Interesting. That's a very nice service. Customer service. <laughs> very nice customer yeah, service. Clean, clean, yeah. yeah. He's pumping our gas balls, also telling us he was going to clean our windshield. That's nice, this is the first time. <laughs> 